A year from now, a total solar eclipse will take place over North American skies. I'm Vidu Chief Meteorologist Matt Standard. It'll start in Mexico, then move into the U.S., and then make its way journey north into parts of Canada, then the Atlantic Ocean. But this black line shows you the path of totality. That's where the moon will completely block the sun. Now, you may see some of the very outer edges of the sun, some of those solar rays that are coming out, but the, the circle of the sun itself will be completely blocked. You get away from this line, the moon won't completely block the sun. You may still see a, a slight sliver of it, but in the path of totality, that's the place where you can actually take those glasses off and you can look towards where the sun is because it won't hurt your eyes because the moon is blocking it. The farther uh, center, the more center you are in this line, the longer the totality will take place. It's right around four and a half minutes up to five minutes dead center of this line. But it starts in Texas, that goes to Southeast Oklahoma, then into Arkansas, then Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and then some of the southern provinces of Canada, so talking about Ontario and Quebec, uh, but then we'll hit New York, Vermont, extreme northern New Hampshire, and in Maine, and then head towards Newfoundland and uh, St. Edward Island. So let's talk about where you need to be in Arkansas to specifically see the solar eclipse. Where is the path of totality? Where can you take those glasses off? Well, we'll start in the southwest. So if we head back towards Texarkana, it'll start in Little River County. And we have all the counties listed, and then we have some town names for you too. So Dequeen, Hatfield, Waldron, uh, you head into Arkadelphia, Hot Springs, we're in the path of totality. You can see Fort Smith and Poto just barely outside. You gotta get south of Greenwood to be in the complete path of totality. You may still see a sliver of the sun in Fort Smith. So you may wanna get outside the city just a little bit. And then Little Rock, we're right in the path. You can see Pulaski County right here. You Conway, we're right in the path. Faulkner County, you go into Van Buren County, Stone County, Batesville. We're in the path. Searcy, you're in the path too. You look west in the River Valley, Clarksville, Paris, Boonville, all of Logan County. We're in the path of totality. We had to Northeast Arkansas, Jonesboro, Pocahontas, Batesville. We're all included as well. And then it leaves the state, heads north and east into Missouri. These pink lines show you the timing. So it'll be crossing over Waldron and then going over Mena and then Pike County, Montgomery County. They're closer to uh, Hot Springs and Hot Springs County. Right around 150 is when it arrives. Comes into Little Rock there around 152, 153. This other pink line shows you the 155 timing. And that'll be for Independence County, Izzard County, Fulton County, right around anywhere from Jonesboro back west towards uh, Searcy or so, about 155. But once again, this is April 8th, 2024. And the path of totality is right over Arkansas and extreme southeast Oklahoma. Should be really cool to see.